Hello everybody, I'm going to do my vlog today via showing you how to, or how I use Sony Vegas. I'm very, very far from an expert, so I want to emphasize this, that I am definitely not the right person to teach you how to do things. I can probably show you how I've done my things. Why, hello there, Zone! I was hoping I would have a kitty for this video. So, to give you a little bit of a meta, I'm actually recording this after I recorded the first part of this vlog, just so I can show you how I'm editing this vlog. How's that one for brain bending? So, I went ahead and went to new project. I created a new project 26, how do I edit things in Vegas? Hit OK. And then in the project media, I will go ahead and drag and drop. Uh, here we go. Take one of how do I edit. So this is going to be very meta. And this ended up running ridiculously long. I have no intention of actually keeping most of what I just did, but this is a good way that I can show you how I edit things. Um, I kept rambling, unfortunately. It, it's a bit of a habit. I'm actually waiting for it to finish building the peaks. Unfortunately, I'm recording this at 1080p and my monitor's resolution is 1920 by 1200, so I don't quite see everything on the screen, but it's close enough. So, um, the very first thing that I want to do is, if I had noise that I needed to deal with, what I would do is I would take this video and actually open it up in a program called Audacity. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. I actually tried to record that part in here and it didn't work very well. You can sort of see what I did. Maybe I'll try to keep that section. Um, but from there, what I do is I try to find long gaps of time. Uh, I know early on I had a cat jump up into my lap. I'm trying to find where that's at. There's the kitty. I need to make sure I keep zone kitty. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually only going to keep up to where Zone Kitty gets off of my lap. I'll go ahead and take a slice. I like to delete gaps of silence. Gaps of silence aren't very useful for vlogs, and since I am very verbose when I speak and write and do anything requiring textual communication, I like to try to shorten things up as much as I can. Oh, I'm actually speaking there. I must just be really quiet for some reason. Um... Normally when I'm speaking off the top of my head like this, where I actually have things to discuss, there's not too many gaps, but I do what I can in order to try to eliminate them. Some of these gaps are obviously needed, um, this is not actually my final draft, but this should give you an idea as how I do things. So all I'm doing is highlighting and hitting the delete key on my keyboard. Unfortunately, I use a lot of keyboard commands to be able to do this, so this is not the most visual thing in the world, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, the application that I'm using is Sony Vegas. Uh, this is an older version. This is Sony. This is Sony Vegas Studio HD Platinum 11, because that's not a word salad. Um, this is two full versions behind, and it's not the top premier highest end version, which is their platinum. However, I can't afford their platinum. That costs money, and hundreds of dollars of money. This version cost me twenty. Two zero. US, obviously. Um, it was nice and cheap within my price range. Sure, it's an older version, but that's fine. It still works. It does crash a little often, unfortunately, but I usually save often enough. I'm not saving in this case because I'm not going to keep what I'm doing here. Um, I've tried several other video editing programs. Let's see, I tried uh, Magic Studio, I used to use OpenShot. Most of them had some major problems. Magic Studio, for instance, constantly crashed on me. OpenShot didn't crash, it would just slowly desynchronize audio because it assumed that whatever I was recording from my camera was at 20 frames per sec, or no, it assumed it was at 24 frames per second instead of 30 frames per second. So it was losing four frames per second over time and eventually everything would be horribly desynchronized audio wise. And well, that's not very good or useful for that matter. Sadly, I actually backed that project, so that means it's money wasted. Same money wasted with uh, Magic Studio, but that was only 10 bucks, so not as big of a deal. Um, 
I've been relatively happy with Sony Vegas. The interface is a little funky to me. It kind of feels like Photoshop does to me, where the reason why Photoshop has things set the way they do is because Photoshop has things set the way they do. It's always been set that way. There are keyboard commands that only work with Photoshop that don't really make sense for any other application outside of it. The same type of thing happens with Sony Vegas. Um, like, for instance, the concept of slicing with the key S. Sure, it sort of makes sense, but why not just, like, right-click and choose Slice? That doesn't exist. It, the user interface is a little confusing to me, and it took me a while to actually get to the point where I can edit things as fast as I do, but I still spend more time editing than I do recording by a very large margin. Um, to give you an idea, let's see, this recording, um, which I'm not going to keep out all of, obviously, looks to be, uh, I'd say, 20 minute, 20 and a half, 22 and a half minutes. Uh, so if I were to do the editing on this, the editing, I've gotten it down to where it would only take maybe about 45 minutes. It's about double the length of time it takes for me to actually record the original vlog itself. From there, um, 45 minutes for actual editing. The rendering time is based off of how I render. Ooh, I get another Isun or Zone Kitty. Yay, Zone Kitty. Mm, Zone Kitty. It's getting close to their feeding time, so they're a little antsy. Um. So yeah, it depends on how I render. So what I do when it comes to rendering is that I just go to File, Render As. Um, it'll render in the formats that I want. I actually have two favorites. One is 720p YouTube and one is 1080p YouTube. I use the 720p ones either one if I'm in a rush to get it uploaded because the 1080p ones are over double the size. Um, or two, if I'm doing my Beyond the Beyond Let's Play, because let's be honest, Beyond the Beyond is a PS1 game, a 2D sprite-based early PS1 game. It's not exactly running at a high resolution to begin with. There's not a reason for me to go 1080p over 720p. There's no visual difference. So I just go ahead and render it at 720p instead of 1080p. The only real difference between these is the bit rates on things. So my 720p videos, I do at 128 kilobit audio and 5 megabit video. Uh, the 1080p one, I do 10 megabit video and 384 kilobit audio. Uh, the audio is mostly because this is actually single channel, it says dual channel, but it's not. If I render at 720p, it will take roughly the same amount of time as the length of the video. So for this 22 and a half minute video, it would probably take about 21 minutes to render. Uh, for 1080p, it takes roughly triple the length of the video. So for a 22 and a half minute long video, it would be about 67 and a half minutes, or a little over an hour. Just rendering, just saving it to my computer, it's obnoxious. I don't recommend doing that. I'm probably going to try to find a better way of doing this. To be honest, it's probably because my CPU is really slow at this point. It's kind of three and a half years old. It's kind of getting up there. And rendering is the one thing that I do that actually takes a bunch of CPU power. Anyway, uh, that's probably about it for the, what I wanted to cover. Oh, right, um, other fancy things that I do. So. I do add lots of text. There's two different types of text in Sony Vegas. There's the the newer version and the legacy version. I actually prefer the appearance of the legacy version, so I can do things like, say, this. Where I want this to say, I am a weirdo. There we go. Um, this is a shadow, soft shadow, which actually pops out better on video from what I've noticed. The default text technically is very similar, but without the shadow, but it looks lower res to me. I don't know why. Um, I usually change the font to either Calibri or Cambria. I like those fonts. They're new with Windows 7. I guess that's not very new anymore. Um, Cambria works a little bit better. Uh, it looks a little better normally, but it doesn't stretch out very well. Calibri looks better at higher font sizes. Um, occasionally I'll use Consolus, which is a fixed width font that's meant for command line consoles and things like that. Whatever. Um, I can go ahead and move the placement of things. I'll put it underneath me. Yeah, there we go. You can also change the font size. I'll make it 26 point. You get the idea. Um, the better version, which is this one, you can actually just resize here on the screen. It's a bit better in that regard, but mm, it doesn't look as nice to me. 
and there's no shadow one over here. There's different animations, stuff like that, like the pop-up one that I did for um, Blatant Lies for the previous video, stuff like that. <clears throat> um, I've used a couple of these for solid textures, not too many of them. I've done the test pattern on one video now. Occasionally I'll throw in a video overlay. I'm not going to demonstrate that because it's very harsh on my CPU to do so. Um, I just have a video overlay up in the corner. You can change the site here. Let me use this as an example. Say I'm going to plunk that down there. There. So I don't want this video overlay taking up the entire screen for whatever reason. So I actually use the track motion ability. I think you're supposed to use the pan and crop version, but I don't particularly want to. Get it about the correct size that I want it. Uh, yeah, let's say it's that size that I want. And then I go ahead and oh, oops, did not mean to back out. Move it over to the spot that I want to cover up. Let's say I don't want to look at my ugly face. The old ugly face, the new ugly face is fine apparently. Then go ahead and do like that. If I want to only use part of the image, I go ahead and go into pan slash crop and do something like that. That's it. Uh, the same thing happens for a still image or video. It's the same thing in Vegas as far as I can tell. Um, sometimes I have multiple audio tracks. I usually mainly do that if I'm recording a voiceover type of thing. I did that for the how to build a computer one. I've only done music a couple of times. This video will actually have music. I don't really do sound effects, so I usually end up either deleting the track or just using it for something else. Occasionally I have multiple video tracks. That's really about it. Oh, um, the one other thing that I do for editing I should show you. Let me go ahead and open previous video. That would be one of the Beyond the Beyond ones. I believe 05, yeah, 05 is the one I had to render. Uh, sure, you can save. So, you notice that this is pink. The reason for that is that the audio and video are not synchronized. I manually altered the synchronization because I like, you know, when I open my mouth, it actually speaking. OBS is terrible at synchronizing audio, I've noticed, and I have not been able to get it to work right. I don't know why. As a result, I manually tweak it. What I end up doing, and you can only tell if I zoom in a lot, see how there's a very small gap. It's so small that it is 0.2 seconds wide. So 200 millisecond gap. So what I end up doing is that I say it's like that. So you can tell it's, it's white now. So 200 millisecond gap. Ah, oh, I have another kitty behind me. I click on the audio track and I hit the U key. The U key un... Um, how do I describe that? Ungroups the audio and video, that way when I move one I don't move the other. Then I move the audio out, basically repeatedly hitting play to see, okay, is this the correct spot for my movie? Good mouse? afternoon, internet. I'm... Yeah, that looks about right. Um, and then highlight them both, regroup. Then what I do is if I have multiple video clips is that I ungroup the next video clip, zoom in really far, and then just ram them together. Then I'll use the cropping abilities to delete and make a gap in between. That way they align properly. So I have a consistent 200 milliseconds or 150 milliseconds or whatever I end up doing. Yeah, that's really about it. Um, I would go through my OBS settings, except this is already a really long video, so I'm going to stop this here. Good night, internet. Zone says good night, too. Don't use zone. Is he up high enough to be able to see? Yes, he is. Okay, good. Yay, zone kitty. He's been on my lap this entire video, by the way. Mm, zone kitty. Well, I don't want this to be 15 minutes, so good night and good luck, internet. I will see you tomorrow. No! Stop eating that. Ah. He ate a piece of plastic.